An early start on the campaign trail for former state representative Mark Connolly. He met with voters at the Bridge Cafe in Manchester and with the media. He says he's the candidate with the experience to best represent the Democratic Party in the fall election. I know myself, I know I'm ready for this job, and I ask everybody in New Hampshire to consider my candidacy tomorrow. It's critical. The people we vote tomorrow will could well determine where we go in the next several years. Just across the city, former Portsmouth Mayor Steve Marchand felt right at home. The West Side native stopped by Shea Vachon. He says he got into the race for governor late and is being outspent, but says momentum is on his side. It's a little bit like uh, the little engine that, that very much could. Uh, and every day that goes by, I got folks switching from one of the others that they met very early, but they didn't seal the deal. And executive counselor Colin Van Ostern canvassed neighborhoods in Nashua, where he wants to extend commuter rail service. His campaign is confident in a strong turnout and strong launch toward the general election. This is up to the voters. And at 8 o'clock tomorrow night, the voters will have spoken. The general election campaign will begin. Uh, I hope that they put their trust in me because I believe we need to keep our state moving forward. And I'm the candidate who's been part of that progress. And our Granite State, WMUR Granite State polls show that all these candidates need to work on that name recognition. So no matter who wins tomorrow, there's still a lot of work to be done before the general election. Live in Derry tonight, Jean Mackin, WMUR News 9.